Morning, everyone. Today is Monday, September 21st at 8.08 a.m. We're going to do a video watch this today. Uh, so a couple things I want to make note of before we start is, you know, it's been a slow market for about a month now. And a lot of people are kind of just treading water or then maybe they're struggling or maybe it's just been slow or anything like that. And I kind of want to remind you guys that the market moves in cycles. You know, we had six months of incredible market action, 10 opportunities every single day. And, you know, now we are in a cycle where large caps are dominating. Large caps have the volatility and that's totally fine. You know, we have large cap lessons. Um, let me kind of show you guys all that stuff now too. So if you feel like you're struggling in the small cap world, you know, all you have to do is kind of come to the video library. Uh, you could either go to the large cap webinars with Joe Kelly. He does a large cap webinar every single week or you could go to the options basics uh, course that we have right here. So, I mean, we're in a market guys where, you know, things are kind of slow. So here's some advice that I want to give to you. Number one is your goal in a slow market is just to stay alive. It's not to make money. It's not to do anything crazy. Your goal is to stay alive and preserve mental capital to be able to attack and to be able to trade when the market does heat up again. So, you know, these days I'm walking away a couple hundred bucks every single day. I'm trying to preserve my men's capital. I'm not trying to overtrade. Also, what I'm trying to do is try to size down because when there's a lack of market opportunities, when there's a lack of liquidity, I don't really want to be involved uh, with too much size. So I remind you guys on slow days, slow months, slow market cycles that uh, it is essential for you to kind of take it slow and to accept that the market is a little bit harder, but it will kind of get easier and it's totally okay to stay on the sidelines. So let me see if I could. We have a video right here from Bao. It says tips to survive a slow market cycle. So I'm gonna include that in the watch list as, oh, I guess it's from me. I'm gonna include that uh, in the watch list as well. So let me just put that in here. Um, all right, so let's start from the beginning, S-A-V-A. So this is a stock that was running on Friday. And if you look at the chart, if you just walked away at 10.30, right? So I mean, if you walked away at 10.30, you would have avoided all this mess and avoided all this job. So I traded in the morning and I walked away at 10.30. So right now, it's still kind of holding trend if you look at it. I mean, yesterday's VWAP was around this area, so it's kind of just hugging this area. So for me, on a setup like this, I just want to see it pop towards $10. So that means maybe if it goes towards, you know, 980s, 990s, and 10 bucks, I'm going to scale in there. But I really just want to see this bounce and then short it. Uh, and then right over here, if it kind of breaks this 1045 level, I know that uh, it's not a short anymore. So kind of using uh, previous days, Friday's high of the day or after hours high or whatever high this is to stop me out and kind of gonna use this red to green line as my risk. So hopefully we got to pop towards 10 in the morning to short. VXRT, uh, kind of similar two things that I'm looking for here, either A, short it when it goes red, or B, wait for a pop towards 850 and 870. Again, any pop over 880s is a stop out for a short. So something to keep in mind is anytime stock is breaking pre-market high or previous days high, that should be your stop for a short. Kodak is kind of tanking already. I don't really want to chase weakness here. I'm really just waiting for a pop. Hopefully we get towards 11.30, 11.50 half dollar mark and 12 whole dollar mark. So whole and half dollar marks are very essential for my trading. Um, Nikola, again, this was a known scam that everyone's been talking about, everyone's known. And you know, it took one of these, uh, I think it was Hindenburg research to kind of blow the whistle on this one. It's under support here. so. I mean, on a stock like this, I really don't know what it could do. Uh, the CEO just resigned, so you never know. They might hire a new CEO that's gonna be pumpable. They might go on their SEC investigation. That's bad news. So there's too much headline risk here, too much possibility of news coming out randomly that's gonna fuck up your trade. So best to kind of just ignore that one. And last but not least, NTN. This is kind of just a random one. You can see that uh, likes to push on volume and come back, push on volume and come back. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this push towards four bucks or something and then come back. But I'm not looking to long it. I'm basically just waiting to see if it's going to be a hot chick. And that's basically it, guys. So slow market action, taking it really, really slow, taking it very meticulously. I am reminding myself that it's okay to walk away slow. I am reminding myself that I am not uh, supposed to be making a shitload of money in this market. This is the market where everyone loses their money 
This is the market where undisciplined traders blow up and bleed out and lose our money. So for us, we just gotta wait and stay patient. That's it. So gonna do a secret word at the end of the video. So I do a secret word to make sure that you guys are watching till the end. So uh, this week's secret word is gonna be tenet, T-E-N-E-T, -E -E because I went to the movie theater and watched that uh, yesterday. It was awesome. So that's it guys. I'll see you guys at 11 a.m. for a YouTube live recap. Thank you and I'll see you in the room.